this is Math 99, and we are taking a peek at section 8.9. Uh, this section is out of the, the elementary algebra book, so make sure that you're looking at that book when you uh, read, read the lecture or do the practice problems. So we're going to talk about direct and inverse uh, relationships, two different ways to relate. And I'm just going to write some things down, and then we'll talk about them. So direct are things that are in the form uh, y equals kx, and inverse are things that are in the form y equals k divided by x. So um, in both of these, k is the constant. Sometimes it's called the constant of proportionality in a direct relationship. Sometimes it's called the constant of variation. Uh, they're both constants of variation uh, in the varying one, in the inverse one. So if I, if I think about graphs like this, these direct relationships, they'll go through 0, 0, and it'll just be a straight line. Wow, that was not a straight line. Uh, go through 0, 0, and just be a straight line. Inverse relationships look like this. Um, direct relationships, you can think of them as proportions. And inverse relationships, I think of them as sharing problems. And there's some language that we use in, in, in all of these. And it will be y varies, and then we'll say directly or inversely as x. So if I were to say y varies uh, directly as x, it's this type of relationship. y varies inversely as x, it's this type of relationship. So let's say that I said uh, y varied directly as x, and I said when y is 8, uh, sorry, when x is 8, y is 20. And then I might ask, uh, when x is 4, what would y be? Well, um, let's take a look. You, this, you might be able just to answer this just by uh, thinking about it. But if it varies directly, my model is uh, y equals k times x. So I'm, I want to use this data, this information right here, to figure out what k is. Then I'll have an equation that models it. So, let me plug in those values. When y is 20, x is 8. So, let's divide both sides by 8. So, 20 eighths, that's 10 fourths, which is 5 halves. You might say 2.5, but it is 5 halves. So, my model then would be uh, y equals k is 5 halves times x. So, for this direct relationship, my constant of proportionality is 5 halves. In other words, if I know x, I multiply it by 5 halves and I get y. See how that's a proportional, that's a, that's a proportionate uh, relationship. So in this model, when x is 4, if I want to know y, I can just plug in 4 for x. Uh, y equals 5 halves times 4, and it looks like y would be 10, which hopefully makes sense if you think about this proportionally. That one got cut in half, this one gets cut in half. All right, let's look, um, and then if I, if I had said they, uh, they, they um, vary inversely, I would have used the, a different model. I would have used y equals k over x and solved it out. So let's, uh, let's just do a couple of these. Distance varies directly as time. Okay, so that means a distance equals some constant times time. That's interesting. That's a lot like distance equals rate times time. So we actually know this is how speed works. Um, speed, distance, and time, rate, distance, and time, the way they're related to each other is a direct relationship. So if we traveled 660 miles in 12 hours, our distance would be 660. Our time would be 12. If we want to know that constant of proportionality, in this case, it's the rate, <clears throat> we would divide both sides by 12. So that would mean that k equals, I wrote 600, I meant to write 660. It means that k equals 55. Great, so that means my model then is distance equals 55 uh, times t. In this case, if I give some meaning to it, um, I'm just traveling at a rate of 55 miles per hour, right? Distance divided by time. So uh, how many miles in four hours? Well, then I could put four in for t, d equals uh, what 55 times 4 is, which I think is 220. 
All right, let's look at another one. Uh, the frequency of a guitar string's vibration varies inversely with its length. Varies inversely with its length. So the frequency varies inversely. Remember, that's this, uh, this model, y equals k over x. The frequency varies inversely, so k over the, its length. Okay, so let's see. that If we have a 26-inch string, that would be the length. It vibrates at 440, and I've got this setup. Now, the, the thing about this uh, type of setup, y equals k over x, I just want to point out, if you multiply both sides by x, x times y equals k. In an, in an inverse relationship, the two values will always multiply to the same constant. So if I want to know what k is, algebraically I can multiply both sides by 26. I could also know that that's how these types, these inverse relationships work. Uh, the two things multiplied together give me a constant. They always give me the same value. So if I multiply both sides by 26, I get uh, 26 times 440. And I'm not going to try to do that in my head. Uh, 11,440. So my model then is, uh, I'm not going to use Y. I'm going to use F. The frequency is 11,440 divided by the length of the string. So uh, what if we fret, shorten the string? We fret it, right? Just hold it down so it's only 20 inches long. What will the frequency be? Well, plug in 20 for L. And I'll grab my calculator again. There's my answer. Divide it by 20. Look, it, would be, it looks like it would be 572. All right, so we have these two models. Um, we know how to write equations for them. We know how to set them up. And uh, give a look to the problems that are in that section. Remember using the elementary algebra book. Send me any questions you have or post them in the forums.